Hypixel, one of the most popular Minecraft series of all time, even at one point setting the world record for most players online a multiplayer Minecraft server at a single time, with over 200,000 players. Now I'm sure many of you have seen videos like this, the rise and fall of Hypixel. But today, I'm bringing you some stories that have not been fully covered in other videos. Like did you know, Hypixel used to host tournaments in 2014 and had a pocket edition server? Today, we'll be looking at how Hypixel became one of the most successful Minecraft servers of all time. With that being said, my name is Daniel. Now sit back, relax, get some snacks, and enjoy the video. Hypixel was released to the public around September of 2012, and it was founded by Rezus and Simon. Hypixel saw several updates and over 1.6 million unique players within the first year of release, and a lot of cool games released, such as Playcraft, The Walls, Paintball, Vampire Z, Mega Walls, Blitz Survival Games, TNT Games, and more. 2014 and 2015 would be big years for Hypixel. We would see the release of Arena Brawl, the Arcade Games Lobby along with Arcade Games, Cops and Crims, UHC, Bill Battle, Warlords, Turbo Kart Racers, Housing, Pixel Painters, the short-lived Hypixel Pocket Edition server, Crazy Walls, and most notably, Sky Wars, The Delivery Man, Mystery Boxes, and Technoblade getting YouTube. 2016 through 2018 would be amazing years for the growth of Hypixel, bringing in many new players and content creators. Hypixel saw many updates to improve the server throughout these years. To start off 2016, Hypixel announced that the server saw over 8 million unique players throughout time. Hypixel would continue to release games to arcade games and other modes. They went on to add Smash Heroes, Ranked Sky Wars, and more. In 2017, Hypixel would announce the release of the Prototype Lobby, where games would be released for testing before making them official games on the server. The first games added in this lobby were Duels, UHC Deathmatch, Bed Wars, and Survival Dash. More games were added later, like Hypixel Battle Royale, Murder Mystery, The Pit, and Capture the War. Hypixel would also announce other big changes to the network during these years, such as the leveling update, the Watchdog anti-cheat release, the Hypixel Discord server, and Hypixel Studios, along with the Hytale game announcement at the end of 2018. 2019 got off to a slow start with the release of Tower Wars to the prototype lobby, but by summer, this slow start would all change. On June 11th of 2019, Hypixel would announce its biggest game to this day, Skyblock. It would be an instant success on the server, bringing in a bunch of new players and helping content creators grow, such as, but not limited to, Time Dio, Technoblade, Tommy Innit, Pigacle, 30 Virus, and more. The rest of 2019 would see game updates, but 2020 would turn out to be a huge surprise for hype. On March 11th of 2020, the COVID-19 virus would be declared as a pandemic. 
Due to this, almost every country shut down all in-person businesses, schools, and more. So many online services, such as video games, stores like Amazon and eBay, streaming services like YouTube, Twitch, Disney+, Netflix, and others, all saw huge increases in people coming to try their products. Hypixel benefited a lot from this. And to keep up with the demand, Hypixel would change all volunteered employees to paid workers, which resulted in Hypixel losing a lot of employees due to the limited amount of staff they could have. Hypixel would also invest more money in servers to try and help the server run better. With the Hypixel server at an all-time high, on April 16th of 2021, Hypixel would hit a world record for the most players online a Minecraft server at any given time, with over 216,000 players online. The rest of 2021 would see two more tournaments and the release of Pixel Party to the prototype lobby. Hypixel would also make a form post for Microsoft account migration, which was required by Microsoft for all Minecraft players to migrate their Mojang accounts to Microsoft, which resulted in a lot of Minecraft players losing their accounts for the many reasons, which also resulted in a lot of Minecraft players being upset with the Microsoft migration update. In 2022, Many people would start to return to in-person school, work, and other businesses, which caused player counts in video games, customers on online stores, and viewership on streaming services to drop rapidly. Hypixel was also affected by this, and it officially ended the rise of Hypixel. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and share this with a friend or family member. And if you did not, please let me know what you think I can improve on. I love you all and God does as well.